The Near Nexus O drive combines a chronic microdrive with a Near Nexus optoelectrode to facilitate chronic optogenetics experiments. As with the standard D drive, the O drive is available in two drive ranges, 2.5 mm and 7 mm. The O drive arrives ready for surgical prep attached to a stereotaxic adapter. Near Nexus recommends sterilizing the O drive in its container with ETO before use. To accommodate an optical fiber, the O drive utilizes a movable ferrule, which is locked in place with hex screws. The hex screws must be loosened before any depth alteration of the probe. As the design of the O drive differs slightly from the standard D drive, the insertion process has been modified. We will now review the entire insertion process for the O drive. Please watch the entire process as the O drive may be damaged if handled improperly. After the animal has been prepped and the craniotomy performed, remove the sterile O drive and stereotaxic adapter from its packaging. Attach a 2 mm diameter rod to the assembled O drive unit, then mount the entire assembly onto a stereotaxic manipulator. Position the O drive at the implant location and lower until the base of the O drive is level with the bone surface. If your probe length is longer than the drive length, you will perform a partial implant, where the initial part of the implant is performed with the stereotaxic manipulator, and the O drive is used for depth adjustment afterward. If your probe length is shorter than the drive length, you will perform a standard implant, where the O drive is used for both the initial penetration and fine tuning of the electrode array. Apply a small amount of cement to the back side of the O drive, being careful not to touch the electrode array. Create slack in the flex cable by lowering the connector holder. Please note that cable slack is required for the probe to move up and down freely. Remove the connector and secure it with a third arm, then disengage the stereotaxic adapter. If needed, perform modifications to the ground and reference wires. Typically, the reference wire is tied to a bone screw. The ground wire can be connected to a Faraday cage around the O-drive or tied together with the reference wire at the bone screw. Before adjusting electrode array depth, loosen the set screws holding the ferrule housing until the hex face is flush with the cap. This allows the optical fiber to move with the electrode array. Please note that this must be done anytime the electrode position is to be changed, or the fiber may be damaged. Using electrophysiology to confirm the desired position, drive the electrode array to the target depth. You may use the notch on the O-drive screwdriver to monitor the number of rotations. Each complete rotation alters depth by 150 micrometers. Some researchers opt to advance the probe slowly over days or weeks to the target. The craniotomy can be sealed with sterile Vaseline. Once probe depth is set, tighten the set screws to secure the ferrule housing at its new position. Both set screws must be engaged for optimal stability. With the ferrule secured, a patch cord can be connected with a ferrule sleeve. Close up the O-drive and the slack cable with the front cap. Cement the front cap in place. Cement the connector in place, angling the connector slightly away from the O-drive. Finally, close the cap with the top cover. To learn more about the O-drive, or to place an order, contact us or visit nearnexus.com.